This is Indian Institute of Technology, Madras, which is one of the most premier uh, research uh, and engineering institutions in the whole of uh, Chennai. And uh, this is their research park. Uh, that is their park, which is meant for their alumni to uh, have their startup offices and all those uh, kinds of things. So this full of the best startups in India are having their offices here. GBCA doing meeting here? Ah, and Green, US Green Building Council has a small office and they are having a meeting in here today. Who is coming? Uh, today for the meeting we are having uh, the uh, head of uh, GBCI for Asia Pacific, Mr. Gopalan. And joining him are uh, Mr. Shantanu who will be the uh, who is the marketing uh, director for uh, Bangladesh, Vietnam and All the credit which is common, say this is common for BDC 3.5, it's right. not common for EBM. So all the credit is one book, three, three different edit systems before, right? It's all here. And there's all the Bangladesh benefits it is here actually. The ministers did the... Uh, okay. Yeah, this. Okay. And there's a, this is the benefit. Very nice. And another thing that here, in Bangladesh especially, I tell you in my uh, next, if you get green building, yes, green yes, building yes. is 40 point, you get, now is 9% actual interest rate, mm -hmm. you can get a 5%. Okay, understood. So 4% savings. Uh, if it's, and a 50 crore is the limit. For <coughs> machine 50 crore and for building 50 crore. Okay. For building 50 crore, if you get 4% savings, yeah, it's a 5.24 yeah, yeah. crore. Yeah. Plus 50, 20, 24 lakh. 5.24 lakh taka savings. Right. How much is the cost? 10 right. lakhs. And the easiest way of transfer, we have seen this, is when a senior person like you uh, collaborates with the university and the university is able to pick up a campus subscription whereby yes. all students and faculty can access all the content online. You are going as a head there. So you will create that hybrid model and that is the easiest model by which we can ramp up the numbers. At the same time, it will be financially attractive to you also. But the same is not going to suck up all your energy because children are going to go online. And today, I think this generation, they are happy yes. with online, they are able to get it. Yes. The second is, uh, I'm tying back to membership, what he said. Uh, one of the things I, I, I was asking Shantanu is, membership in Bangladesh is very, very low. Very low. Only five of them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, membership more from the perspective of I'm not saying every employee of the organization. No, no, but the organization don't even know why they have to be a member. Nobody even told them. Exactly. So well, I didn't even tell them. Yeah, exactly. See, see, I'll tell you again. So that's where we are talking to you, not, yeah. not talking to every consultant. Now, if I talk to some other consultant, uh, you know, they, see, everybody wants to be very protective of themselves. If I make my client a member, will know more than me. they will know more than me. But I think yeah. you, you come from a perspective where you're transparent. <laughs> so the more they know, it's easier for you to work. Yes, yes. So at least a specialist team can come to know. Right? So both from the student community and from the working professionals, I think you have a huge opportunity there. And I think given the growth, I think I was taken aback, uh, you know, again Bangladesh, what, what we saw, uh, as, as I told you last time also, I have been coming to Bangladesh even before I joined the series, right? I have seen a huge, huge transformation. Right. Nice. 2002 was my first visit to Dhaka and if I compare what I saw let's say two years back it's a, and, and it's continuing to transform. The point is I think here is a great example of a country which has completely reinvented itself. Right? I mean you know say and take the interview whatever it is. I think whatever the country is not doing it seems to be very focused. I don't think I've seen any country including India where these things are taken so seriously. You're talking about bank loans, right? You saw you show the five percent mm -hmm. model, mm -hmm. right? He talked about a rooftop mm -hmm. thing. And these are these are only talked in many countries. Mm -hmm. It is not come as a legislation right. or a statute. Mm -hmm. None of this happened. In Bangladesh, and not only that, those five percent now they have a five thousand crore taka. Yeah, allocated. Yeah, that is true. That is true. 
and is open to any project that will be Absolutely. So Bangladesh is the only country where all the financial institutions are linked, including World Bank uh, HQ. So, so I think, you know, the, the future is extremely bright. Uh, so, so one is, as I said, let's, let's work together to make Bangladesh come into the top 10. I'm not saying it should happen this year, but no, not really next year. If not this year, next year. Second thing, education we talked about, it's also closely linked back to membership. Because I think once this is done, automatically the country will keep going forward. And I, you know, I only give an example of this, China. The number of lead professionals in China is higher than the number of lead professionals in the US. Yes. Right? All the big professionals in China. Are China. Even they work somewhere else. Exactly. They're China. They're China. Yeah. But what is it doing to the country? Uh, Boom, right? Even during you know COVID happened, clamped down. They are saying real estate uh, thing is uh, uh, you know having a slight in spite of it, it's doing extremely well because that's a foundation there. Yeah. But at the same time, so I just went through some data in the last one week. The penetration of green in Bangladesh or in India is very high. So what I'm saying is, if let's say the total asset is so and so billion square feet. The percentage of that getting into lead if I take it. Although China's absolute numbers are higher, but total US absolute US numbers are higher. Yeah, total but Bangladesh and in India astonishingly yeah, yeah. The, the green buildings are enormous as a percentage. Absolutely. So let's say per capita, what do you want to call it? That's a great trend. Exactly. And, and that is what I think he said. I think we want now Bangladesh to also be portrayed to the world. It is not about government. Government will continue to support. I think 80% of our time will go towards that. Yeah. We work with them. But let us make sure that commercial buildings, banks, uh, hotels, uh, uh, universities, everything is able to pick up. So as a country, the quotient goes. Okay. So that's the other part of it. Now, coming again, coming back to work, you know, whenever you showed me that at this, education keeps coming back to it. Now, the reason why I think you will possibly uh, be a differentiator is imagine, see, most of it what you have given here is not in our real education portal. This is your learning, which you are sharing. Now imagine, see, the biggest myth for a, an architectural or civil engineering student, because you know they are all in. So in whatever things they might have read, which is very, very shallow, and whatever they have heard, they'll say, oh, green is all exclusive. It is only for the costly, etc. Right? You are breaking that myth for both students and working professionals. Right? And so that's one. Second, do you have a soft copy of this? Yes. The reason Chantan will work with me on this, what, what you will do is, I'm going to send this soft copy. So are you, a, are you a, a, by any chance, are you an education partner of your GDC? You are not. Not yet. Okay, I'll come back to you because there is a methodology by which you can contribute to our content uh, in our USGBC education portal, which then, whenever somebody pays and views, you get a percentage of it. Okay, it's, it's basically revenue stream. Yeah, that's good. I can but the point is, let me come back to the structure then. Yeah, how it should be, etc. But I think education partnership is what? $3,000? Yeah. I don't want uh, Dr. Ananta to spend that money no, no, no. without seeing what's going to be <laughs> paid. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. But the point, uh, you have to be No, no, no. But I think you're sitting on fantastic information. So, two things. One is, definitely, I think, next thing will be. You should apply and make sure that we have a session for you. We'll also guide you. Uh, second is how your whatever education thing you have got, how do we share it with the entire world? Because what you have done for Bangladesh is valid for every country. You have, you have broken many myths. Gopal, I also okay, uh, show you that you should have a look when you have a time. Yeah. No, I'm going to take it. No, yeah. I'm just going to show you this you say that. Just this is my YouTube channel. Oh. See the how many hit, how many hours people watch my video. There's 50 plus video there. Okay. In Bengali and English. And so does does this YouTube video summarize whatever you have written? Yeah, yeah. There's easy. Cross, cross there. To, there. Uh, uh, cross what there to, what I'm saying that you and me were discussing uh, in Vietnam. Somebody is doing the Vietnam, and we should be talking to another so to make it in Bengali. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. should walk on that. Yeah, in the local language. Yeah. No, I think we need to focus on education. Yeah. And uh, that's what I'm saying. Let us talk to Arnold Key. Yeah. yeah. And I want Arnold Key to directly work with Arnold. Correct. Arnold Key is our head of education. Yeah, he, he has a email to me. 
is email. So I'm I'm meeting him. So I'm going to present whatever we saw. And he's a fantastic guy, right? So if I give the context, he can then guide you about how a your education can be part of our portal. Second, see all all said and done, it has to be financially viable for you. Yeah. Because today you have only so many hours a day, right? And and you are obviously consulting are extremely busy. But how can that few hours in a week help you to get a payback? Right. So that is something we should work on. Uh, <coughs> okay. Now, I think as US GDC, uh, Dr. Ananda, uh, in the last three four years, uh, although I am part of the organization, but you know, I, I don't want to sound very arrogant or anything. But I think as an organization, we have three main classes. So we are no longer a certification company. Right. So. and that is the comfort which leadership organizations are having when they are working with us so few examples now starbucks across the world they have taken a policy that every starbucks every new starbucks should be lean every existing we will strive to make it lean as well now what is the reason okay energy efficiency all that is fine but they did extensive research and understood that the people who come to my store are all the alpha generation current generation and for them to be in a green space very important right so so their brand and what we stand for as the philosophy there is a complete going so they going right so this is one example makes sense i was taken aback all the mcdonald outlets in china are going for green imagine i mean china has got some 2000 uh, outlets all of them are green i'm giving you some examples here and there right in malaysia the ministry of health they designed that all their existing hospitals and new hospitals in goli and this is an amazing one right so they have taken the step and that is today rubbing off on all the southeast asia countries right so so why is this all happening i think now people have understood okay i think one of your slides talked about right so okay i do leave i get a certificate but that's incidental but with us gdc and lee my journey is going to be continuous so they are going to at a design stage become efficient now i got the transparent data platform i i i get certified operations then i go to zero and then yes so all the answers for me are there in me so that's that's very important. it is not about just getting a green certification and and today one of the things dr anta i think uh, all of us have to understand in this room is that our platform what is so I give it to you in writing. No other organization can develop it. It took us five years. Yeah. So they have to take five years more. To five do. years more, and, and it will be in development. It is not only software. It came from our whatever at that time, twenty-five years of our expertise. Yeah. So there was sort of a it, it is a secretive op- operation, which happened in DC, and incidentally, all software engineers only from Asia. So we picked up a huge chunk, set them there. Then we worked so five years and nobody knew about it, mm-hmm. and we launched. And lot of other great. In fact, I'll give you an example. Now you go to Singapore, Green Mark is very much this way. Now Green Mark it collaborates with us, and they are very clear. Singapore Green Building uh, Council is very clear. They are saying we want to collaborate with you on art. Yeah. You got you got design, but you know we have Green Mark design. It's as good. Yeah, good for Singapore country. In fact, it's better than Malaysia itself yeah. because they are localized, yeah. right? But the art platform is in a different orbit where we cannot go and we don't have any investment see the point here i think this is called the blue ocean strategy the blue ocean strategy what we mean is we have taken this to the art platform which requires huge huge investments and many of the scattered data systems cannot afford to do it somebody try i don't want to name the name it is a big failure in fact even at the first version we were testing it failed it collapsed right so it's not possible but what we did strategically was as he said to link up the art platform to ESG. Yeah, Now ESG as he said may not be happening today no. but I can guarantee it's you it's coming. It's coming. Now why is it? You read any article any business paper it's only let's let's talk about the fashion brands. They all say I want to go to ESG scope 1 scope 2 which means my entire supply chain. So which means at least from a fashion brand perspective they are fairly clear my garment and my fabric has to come from green. Yes. Right, very very clear, very clear. Right, so so that is now set. Now, coming to the commercial buildings today, the tenants who are getting into a commercial building, 
they want to also become relieved by themselves so the inside because that will then link it back to the ESG goals. Yeah. So whether it is a US company or a European company or a Japanese company or an Asian company in Bangladesh or Bangladesh Bangladesh company because today I think Bangladesh companies in their own right have become leaders, right? Whether it is Shanta or Mexico, whatever it is. I think that is where I think there's a strong advantage for us. And you have to see Yes. So today we are working at this level. And obviously I think from your side I was very impressed about the 90 projects. But it can catapult. One is because of the zero years. The second, the lead for cities and companies. So my suggestion, uh, 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 I know if you can track what are the LFC opportunities in Bangladesh. Yeah. And have you, have you done a session for Dr. Anantha with the LFC team? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, Please do it. Yeah.